Welcome to Sairam Tripoli YouTube channel. Uh, let us uh, discuss power angle equation in the uh, power system stability analysis, right? So, the single equation must be there for uh, uh, discussing this power angle equation because uh, if suppose swinging occurs, if suppose uh, rotor um, uh, fluctuation occurs or uh, any disturbance occurs in the uh, motor, I mean or the generator. So, we will get an angle, I mean difference angle will be there, right. So, normal working angle and then I suppose differential angle. So, that is what we have used uh, like um, differentiation there, d square delta by dt square. So, angle with respect to time, right. So, we discussed uh, in this swing, swing equation, we got finally uh, h by pi of uh, uh, d square delta by uh, delta square by dt square is equal to pm minus p, pm is the mechanical power developed by the uh, generator or motor or synchronous motor and P is the electrical power developed by the motor, right. So, uh, the, in this single equation, the input mechanical power from the prime mode is uh, Pm is assumed to be constant. So, uh, if it is generator, okay, if it is generator, which one is mechanical input, a turbine is a mechanical input, a turbine uh, uh, gives mechanical input and an electrical output we are getting from the generator, right. So, that is a uh, one example, I mean like uh, we considered, right, you can consider uh, synchronous uh, motor also, uh, supply we are, I mean like supply we are giving in the motor and uh, mechanical output, output we are getting from the uh, shaft or uh, rotor side. So, that is a synchronous, I mean synchronous motor. So, in the generator uh, we are giving mechanical input, uh, the, I mean prime movers in the sense uh, you can consider uh, turbines, right. So, that is a prime mover, mechanical power uh, is constant, I mean whatever the water is falling into the turbines or um, uh, from the thermal power plant steam is flowing through the turbine or the pressurized right. So, that uh, would be constant I mean the rotation would be constant right. So, P is will determine whether the rotor accelerate or de accelerate or remain synchronous speed. See this one is a synchronous generator, synchronous motor um, output is constant because rotation is constant. So, obviously you will get uh, output also constant because N s is equal to 120 f by p that is a constant. So, rotation uh, uh, if it is increases and output also increases that, that everybody knows, but synchronous motor or synchronous generator constant speed application, synchronous speed application. So, uh, electrical output uh, in the um, rotor arms conductor also same I mean uh, constant. So, already I told you how does uh, this uh, synchronous motor or synchronous generator works. Uh, that rotation is always uh, directly proportional to generation. I mean, whatever the conductor cuts the mat, if it right. So, that, that is uh, same, okay. Change in P are determined by condi uh, condition in the transmission and uh, uh, we, we can consider uh, in the distribution also, right. Uh, transmission from the side. The power angle equation, each synchronous machine is represented as transient stability and uh, steady state st stability and uh, subtransient stability will be there. Just we consider it as a transient uh, internal. Uh, voltage E. So, this one is a supply, okay. This one is a reactance, this one is a terminal voltage output or whatever you consider terminal voltage, okay. And armature resistance is negligible, so that phasor diagram has shown the uh, figure, right. So, why it is armature resistance neglected? So, armature resistance uh, for every motor or uh, for uh, every uh, machine must be less uh, 0 to 3 ohm, we will get it. If it is more, uh, what happens? Current will not induce more, right? Because I is equal to V by R, resistance must be less. Then only current induces more. Then only induced DMF also more, right? So that's what uh, armature resistance is less uh, in the uh, any machines. And uh, any machine you consider relative to the system. I mean, like uh, uh, phase at angle or uh, machine quantities are measured respect to common system reference. So we are having one uh, reference value or reference. Uh, uh, um, uh, ratings are uh, reference standard for uh, all the machines. See here uh, transmission uh, network, there is a E1 and then E2 is this one, okay. So, just a power angle equation. This one is a Y bus formation, Y11, Y12, Y21, Y22. So, transmission network either it may be a, I mean transmission lines. Uh, uh, Y11 is a admittance of uh, 1 to 1 and 1 to 2, 1 to 2 to 1, 2 to 3. So, transient internal voltage, this one is a transient internal voltage and it is a transient uh, internal voltage generator at bus 2 and uh, bus admitted matrix uh, is this one, right. And uh, we have a, a continuation, 
pk minus jk uh, will get vk and this is a um, power right so uh, active power and a reactive power we will get it like this uh, y11 just to um, will like uh, simplify that uh, uh, admittance matrix you will get this uh, equation okay and uh, we have a power angle equation finally uh, one minute so power angle equations finally can be written as uh, p is equal to pc plus p max sin delta minus uh, lambda equation number uh, one uh, for the 0.35 so when the network considered without resistance, all the elements of Y bus are uh, susceptance. So both the G11 and the become zero. And uh, P A is equal to P max sin delta power angle equation. This is a P max, uh, okay. This is a P max, uh, P max sin delta is a power angle equation. This is a transfer reactance. E1, E2 uh, e dash divided by X, P max is equal to, right. So example of far angle equation, so this is one uh, generating uh, station as well as one uh, single line diagram they have given here and then here uh, transmission uh, lines will be there here to here and this one is a transformer, this one is the output side generator will be there. So based on these values we need to solve the problem, right. So first we need to determine um, the reactance diagram for this uh, previous diagram. So this is the reactance diagram for that one and finally we need to calculate Vt sin delta. Uh, so just to substitute alpha is equal to 1 by 1, alpha will almost will get it 1 or something else and uh, finally you will get, uh, finally, finally we will get a terminal voltage is this one and uh, voltage e, uh, e dash output side uh, you will get 0 0.93 or 1.050 angle 28.44, right. So this is a power angle, uh, oh my god, uh, power angle before the fault, after the fault, during the fault, right. This one is PE, PE 1.5, PE 2.1, well calculating, right. So, integrate the values and then or, uh, differentiate the values, you will get um, everything, 